The tests done here focus mainly on water and food quality. The living standards in the country are low. Access to clean water is one of the biggest challenges. And while this team hasn't had to deal with a major infectious disease outbreak just yet, they're not taking any chances. The Mauritanian government has attached great attention to what could be a potential problem. It has implemented measures at customs and immigration to control the spread. Our team is also on high alert. We've got protective equipment and will definitely help Mauritanians to adopt necessary measures to prevent an Ebola outbreak. The last time there was a major outbreak was 10 years ago, Rift Valley fever. The biggest killers are diarrhea, hepatitis B and respiratory infections. Children under five are particularly vulnerable. Here at the National Center for Research on Public Health, the focus has been on epidemiological surveillance and strengthening public health training. China has been sending medical teams to Mauritania for the last 50 years, but this center is the first of its kind permanently based in Africa. Our CDC is the only one of its kind in disease control and public health that China established on this continent. The public health system and disease control are weak here. China started sending disease control experts to Mauritania in 1978 and the team has been here since then. The CDC building in Nokchot was built by the Chinese in 1977. Aside from providing training to local staff, equipment and infrastructure upgrades are also carried out. Every year China donates equipment to Mauritania under the request of the local government. Yesterday, we just transferred some equipment worth 30,000 US dollars. This center will be relocated later this year. The first phase of the new building has already been completed. The project costs about 16 million dollars. The medical team is just finishing their two-year rotation. They'll be replaced by more experts in July. Valdi Carlsa, CGTN, Nuakchot, Mauritania.